working on a Christmas record. This last week we did we did a, a whole batch of songs. So this this question about Christmas is um, I've been ruminating on this this summer a lot, writing writing some Christmas stuff in in the middle of ninety five degree weather. It's yeah, been great. It's always the case. <laughs> always it's doing it in the middle of summer. Yeah, love it. I I um, man. I'm so excited, Sandra. What's your favorite? I don't. I mean, it's hard to pick it's a favorite. So to These pick carols a favorite. are. I. Oh, holy night! Oh I think yeah. For me, uh, which is the one that sometimes makes people nervous when you sing it because you, you're always you're already one. thinking about that high note yeah, high at the note, last yeah. part. Yeah, but like, um, <laughs> but I think going back to that place of after. 400 years of silence of like a baby's cry like that moment of God's answer uh God's answer is a resounding yes like I'm coming um speaking into the to the weary long lay the world in sin and air pine till he appeared and the soul felt its worth I think that has been uh yeah, for whatever reason, every time I sing that song, I just, it grounds me in, in my identity and my worth and, and my gratitude that we, that he didn't leave us as we are. <laughs> so. That's good. I, I think it's hard to pick. Um, the melody of um, Lo How a Rose Air Blooming is one, of, I mean, it's maybe my favorite melody of all time. Um, I love that one, and I love the text. The poetry is is so beautiful and enduring. Um, but the 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 one that comes to mind for singing is "Hark the Herald Angels Sing," and it's probably because of um, the Charlie Brown Christmas special that um, that I think is a genius piece of art that is still in circulation, still widely accepted and loved, and the you know, the drawings of the kids at the end of that where they throw their heads back and sing Hark the Herald, barely in tune, you know, group oh. singing. It's just such a touching moment, like, every time. And I think just that, I, I think to me even that piece of art speaks to um, the invitation of God that then goes out that would still be, like, on, on primetime TV and just Love loved, you know? Like, the invitation goes out, and it's... It's like the call to the shepherds in the middle of the field. I think um, present day, the way that we send, I think the Christmas carol tradition is like a time when it's just wide open and people are wide open. Yeah. And um, that's uh, obviously like a theme in all the movies and all the, you know, um, what it is to give and what it is to um, consider others and make sacrifices and um from Charles Dickens to, you know, like to Johnny Cash Christmas, like some of these parts of uh, the Christmas traditions, I think, um, yeah, I love Hark the Herald. And it, and all there are all of those verses and all the language that's in it is so rich theologically. And it's like, here it is. Here's the story Here's of the, the gospel. Story. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. The whole thing. Yeah, and it kind of yeah. does ring out. I love that so yeah. much. So... Um, Did you got Ark the Herald on your record? Please? I do, yeah. Yeah, it'll be on there. So, um, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's been fun to think about those songs. And I also love the songs that, like Silent Night and Away in a Manger, the ones that like get small and quiet, because I, I think of Christmas as a quiet, like just that con contemplative side of that, which winter in our part of the world winter brings that out yeah, you know it does it's pretty neat it is amazing to me too I mean just talking about the smallness and the quietness of those songs that uh this like the audacity that God would that God would come so small <laughs> you know it just is like it's amazing to me so I love that those songs kind of like echo that you know yeah, it's good. That's a room, sing, a room full of people singing Silent Night. Even a small room, big room, it doesn't matter. It's oh, so special. It's so special. It's a good one. 
I love O Come All You Faithful, too. Mm, Andrew Peterson amazing. at the end of Behold the Lamb of God. Yes. Ends with that every time. Yeah. And there's something. Uh, oh, Come All You Faithful. It's like, hey, let's gather around the fires yeah. of the gospel together mm-hmm. and remember. Do the work of remembering. Mm-hmm.